Adding faculty member profiles to the academic uh, websites is a relatively easy process. Faculty members have access to a system called Watermark. It's a third party system, used to be called Digital Measures, that allows them to uh, access and edit their own custom profiles. Those profiles are then pulled into our websites on a nightly basis. Adding them to the academic uh, websites, to the faculty section on those sites, is, is a pretty easy process. First, what you do, we're on the biology site. And what you would do is go to the dashboard. And you're going to see a faculty member section listed. Uh, you've got a couple options here. One is all faculty members. It shows all the faculty members. Uh, this is where you can see them all. I have to delete them. All I have to do is click on trash, and it deletes the profile from the site. Um, you can also edit uh, if you need to edit the name. Um, just be aware that you can't actually edit the profiles through the website. It has to be done through Watermark, and it's generally the faculty members doing that themselves. So as a web editor, really your only thing you can do is to add them to the faculty section on your website, and that's about it. If they need to edit their profile or they request a profile edit, just point them at Academic Affairs, and they can help them assist them with uh, editing their profile. To add a new faculty member, it's really easy. You're going to see the Add New Faculty Member button. You click on that. You would then type out their name. I'm just going to type in mine. And then at the bottom, you're going to, if you scroll down, you're going to see uh, Faculty Member's Digital Measures Username uh, or PDF Info Sheet. For uh, adjunct faculty members, because they're not a full-time uh, faculty member, they don't have access to Watermark. However, you can uh, point them um, to uh, PDF. So if they want to create their own CV in PDF format, you can upload it to the website and then you can paste the URL here and it'll serve the same purpose. Uh, if they are a full-time faculty member and they do have a Watermark uh, profile, uh, if you contact Academ Academic Affairs, they can give you the username for that faculty member. All you have to do is enter it here and then when you're done, click Publish. Uh, once you're done publishing, I'm just going to leave the page here. If you go to the faculty uh, section of the website, they're automatically added to the list on the left. Um, generally though, uh, just be aware that if they have a new profile or you're just adding them, they won't show up until the following uh, morning.